Within Deco Network, a blank product can be set to active or inactive. If it's active, it can be used on Business Hub and on websites as long as the availability is set. If it's inactive, it doesn't matter what the availability rule is, it won't be available anywhere. It's very easy to turn or make a product inactive or active uh, as a bulk action, or if you go into the product, you can turn it on or off as being active or inactive. But what we're really talking about right now is availability rules. So if it's active and you want to control which websites that product is available on, or if it's even available on a website, you can do so using bulk actions by coming here to set availability or going into an individual product. So let's first go into this product and on the left hand settings you will see availability where you can control the availability rules. So by default this product is available in Business Hub and websites so it's available everywhere. Uh, it's also set to be available on every store. So I could allow it to be um, in Business Hub and web stores, but then say it's not in any store by default, and then create a rule for a store group or an individual store and say, yes, it is allowed. So I could control, is it available on any site or is it available on sites, but only particular sites very easily. Now these availability rules can be also set using bulk actions and in product groups, which we're about to show. But if I make this product only available in Business Hub, even though I say that it can be used on this site, if it's only available on Business Hub, it doesn't matter what store I say it's possible in because it's not available in any store. Now, you will see that Deco Network color codes uh, the products. So if it has an orange background, that means the availability is set to only be available in Business Hub. Um, and this is a very common for products by default to be only available in Business Hub until you've made uh, sure that they're optimal to be used on a website. Now I could make this the default for products or update the default setting by coming into product groups. Now before I do that I want you to realize that every product is put into a group and you can see here uh, these are all in the apparel group. I could also do an advanced search show me all of the products in the apparel group. And if you look here, we have 2100. So if I come into product groups and I come into apparel, I can come into the availability rules and make it so that these products in this group are only available in Business Hub or they're only available in web stores or maybe I say they are available in Business Hub and web stores, but they're not in any product by default. And then again, I can set a group or a store rule to say, uh, yes, these can be used only in this site because it's not in any other store by default. So you can do it within the product, you can do it within the product group, and you can also do it as a bulk action. So I'll come back here and I don't have to sort um, or, or search by product group only. So maybe uh, as just an example, I'm going to do the brand. So maybe I want to select all Nike shirts and I'll select all 104 and then I can apply the bulk action set availability, apply action. And for all of these Nike products, I can make it so they are only available in Business Hub. Or they are available in Business Hub and web stores, but by default, no store can use them. And then I'll set the rule, only this site or store has the ability to use these products. So you can see there's many different ways you can update the availability rules, which will determine where a product can be used uh, from either Business Hub or certain individual sites. If you have any questions on how to set availability rules for a blank product, simply come up to the very top of the screen and search our many great help articles or click on the question mark and raise a support ticket with client services who's there to answer questions and help you work through problems. Hopefully you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.